So what are the chances of you showing up once again in this genetic code? The answer is never. Mm. It's never. Yeah. Okay? Because of how much larger the total number of possibilities are compared to anything we will ever create on this earth. So you are alive. You, mm. Gary O'Reilly, yeah. are alive against stupendous odds. And I take the posture in the book that because of this, life should be cherished. Agreed. And by the way, even if you did show up again in the genetic code, there's no reason to think it would be you. No. It would look exactly like you. Yeah. But we've done these experiments. They're called twins. We have identical <laughs> DNA. And yeah. you're not the same person. You no. have independent thoughts. Okay? You even have different fingerprints, turns out. Uh, so the, the clone experiment doesn't require a machine to wonder how that's going to turn out. People said, we shouldn't have clone machines because we'll clone people for their organs. And I'm thinking... Do we do that with twins today? Do we purposefully have twins to take out their organs? Why would we behave any differently in a, with a cloning machine than we do in the presence of twins that already walk among us? Point is, you're never going to get another Gary. Right. And so armed with that information, that cosmic, that scientifically informed cosmic perspective, we should treat life as the most cherished thing on earth. And not enough people do leading to all manner of misery and bloodshed and war and in this world.